Welcome my friends, welcome. My name is Melissa and I will be your multi-dimensional cosmic tour guide today. We're going to talk about 144,000 frequencies and the setup and the architecture, the energetic architecture, as well as the twin flame template and soul contract. So are you ready? Welcome home, my friends. Welcome home, super rock star seeds. I'm excited. So throughout the years, I have always seen things in this energy architecture form. So one of the reasons I do channelings the way I do is because we touch base with a voice of the particular frequency bandwidth that we're working on in humanity. So sometimes whether it's Kurt Cobain or John F. Kennedy or of course my favorites are David Bowie and Spock. Leonard Nimoy, and all of the others, they are representatives of the particular bandwidth frequency that we are cleansing, clearing, and realigning in, in our templates, our, our my body, spirit, soul forms. And that includes many aspects, layers, conditions, templates, all kinds of stuff. So that's a little bit Beyond what we're going to talk about today, we will talk about it soon. But the template of the twin flame, which is what we're all supposed to be coming back into, is our true original divine blueprint. And throughout history and throughout our generations and throughout our history of the earth, like the imprints of the earth and the skies and in between every system that has ever been here, it's been inverted and, and distorted. And that includes each one of us. So we've all had attachments, we all have distortion, and we've all had some dark things following us. We've all had our own demons and our spirits and our negatives and positives, and it's been imprinted or stitched in our not only our soul contracts of the past, but it has been stitched in humanity in such ways where we will replay many of the darkest things, abominations to the image of God in every way, and we think it's normal. And so that is the beginning of the explanation of the 144,000 templates or frequencies in the template of Twin Flame, Sacred Union. I remember being just like a 20 year old and 18, 19 and, and knowing some of the pieces of my purpose and mission in these ways. It's like science and spirit ways. And since people saw me as like a, you know, blonde headed dorky person, no one ever noticed and so part of that has been for each of us that we have been blinded to remember, like remembering who we each of our own selves are, like looking in the mirror. And that's why throughout these last decades, we've said, oh, well, there's the, your mirror soulmate, mirror image person. And what we were doing is really intricately looking in the mirror at ourselves, at the different inversions or distorted pieces inside of each one of us, which equates to humanity's whole, because we are one. And so, again, why I was channeling, and will continue to channel some of the different frequencies, is because what that's what we're working on and realigning in our mind, body, spirit, soul form. And that means the original divine blueprint of the Garden of Eden and many other places. And so when we call about, talk about templates of consciousness, that could be the places that we have been. So it's earth, sacred Garden of Eden that was inverted and, and, and fallen. And each one of us had pieces of fallen energies imprinted into us and enslaved into us and scratched into us. It was inevitable. So we could look at ourselves as a fallen race, humanity, but the real truth is that there were dark energies and that overtook everything and just really kind of wrote the script for us. And that was not, that was not helpful. And that's what we're coming out of. That's what we're de-stitching, de-lousing out of the fabric of who we are in many layers. And the many templates could include things like Lemuria, Atlantis, Maldek, Terra, Avalon, many others, and many others we probably don't have words for. And they were all infested and part of the tree of life. And as we go up to that in the tree of life where our soul contracts in the Akashic records were also tainted. So, you know, if you were being targeted or 
I had a tacky energy sometimes. You are being targeted and attacked in those spiritual realms, those etheric realms as well, where sometimes it wasn't your fault, it wasn't your karma, it wasn't any, anything like that. It was projected and distorted because you were recognized, your light frequency was recognized here. So as humanity is recovering from everything that could ever be bad, war, famine, trauma, betrayals, manipulations, all of those things we could call curses and spells out of each one of our generational patterns, our DNA is being put back into order, which is the original divine blueprint. And the simulation that we are in is being cleansed and cleared and de -loused from some of those fallen mindsets, beliefs, projections, imbalances. To me, it's been pretty obvious for like a really many years that karma and karmics are done. However, for humanity, the whole template of humanity, the image of God that each one of us carries, it's just been badly distorted and wounded. And most of us have been functioning or surviving out of trauma and survival modes, all these different modes in our archetype roles that we have been playing. And so that some of the 144,000 are pieces of those roles and archetypes that we are playing in conditions of who we are. And I've been talking about this for years, so I know it's it gets boring, but we are pulling back those roles that we play and the archetypes in our, you know, surroundings back into divine blueprint as well, the original divine plan. And that means that they are in their divinity and that divine masculine feminine divinity or if we're talking about higher selves and different timelines and layers of who we are, it could be God, goddess, self, star, being, self, all these different layers of who we are in our wholeness and our home state of being has been distorted so badly that we've just been mowing through that shadow, cleansing and clearing, and it seemed like it never ends. And I have to say thank you to all of the star seeds and the earth angels and the love beings of this world, the light workers, for just hanging in there and, and doing the very best you could to lift up and hold that frequency that you came here to hold and anchor in. Thank you for doing that despite all of the pain and the suffering and the separation and the isolation and the loneliness and aloneness and every grief that we could have ever imagined or never imagined going through. And so it feels like to me that we have hit this new layer. Now we were almost there quite a few years ago, but those dark beings came in and said, why don't we delay this? And we're going to win and we're going to keep overtaking humanity. And we, we said no. So we've navigated it through it really well, even though we have been separated and really dispersed from our, some of our soul tribes and soul families that's realigning. It's almost like the cards being shuffled. You know, you're getting ready to play a game of poker and you got to shuffle the cards and we can shuffle the cards and shuffle the cards. It's the divine hand of God is shuffling us and realigning us in where we're supposed to be. And that means in ourselves. So I always see that as well as, you know, sometimes people might be drawn to your twin flame. So if your twin flame lives very far away or your soul tribe is far away and you're like, I'm supposed to be there. Sometimes we actually physically move or change our whole career or change our favorite hairstyle sometimes or whatever it may be. But the truth is that it, we're, we're cleansing and clearing and realigning, recalibrating, recalibrating inside our all of our templates and layers and archetypes and roles and mind, body, spirit, soul, so that as we become more connected, mind, body, spirit, soul, with source and our Christed self, we can connect with everybody that's in our soul tribes, everybody that's in our soul family, whether they are incarnate here in a physical dense body or they are, you know, six states over or two countries over or whatever it may be. So I do think that we're going to have a lot more telepathy when you want it, when it's time as well as all of those spiritual gifts that we, many years ago, just, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten years ago, we knew we were coming into before the last delay, the last dark attack on humanity's consciousness, everybody, everywhere. 
brought in these chaoses and these things and it it's almost like dumped us down and, and made us delayed quite a bit. But we're coming back into that. So every foundation thing that you did from your heart in love with best intentions has actually laid the foundation of the new earth light grid. And you came here in your 144,000 frequencies. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. That's just the beginning of that to tune up and hold that into alignment and anchor in in different places and circumstances, systems, layers, archetypes, roles, that purified, pure Christ energy. So again, thank you. I'm going to pull a card to see if there's anything else that I can say about the 144,000 right now in the twin flame structure. So, you know, as I was a young person and I was seeing this, I didn't know the word twin flame, but I knew that there was this structure, energetic structure that was going to be not only the dark, lower, inverted stuff was going to be crumbling, but the true divine blueprint, as I was taught as a little child when I had visitations from the angels, and one in particular, would be rebuilt into the pure form of the original divine blueprint. Not any groups or anything's agendas or ideas, but humanity would become free and sovereign as well as one at the same time. So many of you will be feeling your twin flames, your soul come together in union. And of course, that always begins with us, with our own sacred union inside. And then the journey with another person comes in sometimes Sometimes our twin flames are only in the ethers. Sometimes our twin flames are have passed and we only got to have them for a teeny tiny bit. And sometimes we, it was not the right timing. But for many of us, it is the right timing and you will be able to feel them a little bit more. All the spiritual gifts are just being lined up. And we have just come back into, it's almost like psychic surgery or, you know, I, I'm almost imagining like, striated muscle form in each each part of that in our energetic form our royal bloodlines our genetic makeup as well physical mental emotional spiritual and all these layers have been tuned up in the 144,000 alignment and that brings Christ returned back into us and there's a whole lot more to this but we are at a, a very big point. Just so happens it kind of comes in the middle of this 8-8-2022 time period where we can start feeling it. And as I always say, the karmas and the karmics are really, that's not true or relevant. That was part of the lower energies that goes up in our soul contracts that were degraded or tainted are being continually crumbled down so that we can see them in the true Akashic records, which are higher frequency than we could get to. And where all of the universe of pure divine light is recorded and known there. And that's where you get to choose and manifest and create from. And so the true soul contracts, which we kind of knew, but they had been tainted. So we kind of know our twin flame. We kind of know which direction we're supposed to go in sometimes. And even go, going back to way back you know, childhood, if you're an older person, there are inspired pieces of your passions and purposes that we had to leave behind, that we had to survive through, we couldn't get to. And some of those pieces are actually in your foundation, in those higher frequencies which are being activated at your cosmic heart and Christed self, all connected, tuned up, and we will continue this, but it is just a huge victory and success in the balancing of this, all of our templates, all of our archetypes in new ways that we've ever known. So when you look outside or people are acting out or we're all worried about the lacks and the ups and downs and the housing markets and the politics and the whatever is going on, those pieces are going to dwindle down because they don't belong in our templates. This doesn't bring tune, tuned, tuned cosmic so song. And remember, we are all being realigned, stretched and realigned, deloused, de-stitched from all the lower, dark, tainted pieces out of our fabric of who we are. And we are being realigned together. Humanity is together in one. 
and you are true, very irreplaceable, eccentric, true, unique self can shine just a little bit more and a little bit more. You were right all along. So welcome home to all the soul tribes and each of the soul tribes carry pieces and widths of the frequencies of the 144,000 and yet at the same time carry 144,000. There are many, again, science and spirit coming together. I've always said this. Remember later, science and spirit will marry and we will understand in bigger ways, much past the physics and the ways that we've understood before. So this is a beautiful time and our knowledge is, is being able to be recognized just as like we are at the same time we are being able to remember who we are. And we can see in the eyes of others, whether they're tall or short or rich or poor, no matter what sexual orientation or skin color they are or wherever they have been, whatever they have been through, we will be able to recognize our true soul tribe and the other Christed beings now in different ways. Before, I think it was like breaking through in our archetypes and roles. We were breaking through some of the curses, spells, inverted bindings and attachments and things that were projected into us. And we are breaking on through those pieces as we speak. And we have been for a while. Some of you broke through over and over and over some of the darkest, heaviest stuff. So I thank you and I see your light. I see your Christed light, by the way. But that's going to continue. So if you feel uncomfortable, tired, sick, unhealthy, those imprinted things, those spells, those curses, those bindings, those wounds and traumas in particular are being shut down and cleansed and cleared. And your shadow work will be all worth it. It is all worth it. So that in itself helps you hold that particular frequency in whatever archetype or bandwidth you are holding and anchoring in at any particular time in pure light. So thank you for that. And we will watch as all of our 144,000 strands and us streams of who we are, are tuned up, tuned up. And we go past things like the illnesses and the last few years of being oppressed, shut down with plague illness and financial things and switching partners and switching all this stuff will come back to realizing who we're supposed to be around and things a lot easier when that frequency is, is in that higher vibe for sure. So I'm going to pull a card from the, I'm feeling activations and downloads for all the Blu-rays and those were Blu-rays were squished and not really listened to all that much in the last few years and perhaps maybe did the most to help us uplift. So I thank you Blu-rays, but I'm feeling that in particular and that divine magic that comes within that Blu-ray, which is unconditional love and divine magic. And of course, I'm never talking about magic spells or anything like that. Scary stuff or bad B movies, but I am talking about the essence of who we are, the divinity, the child of God that we are, sons and daughters, being perfectly aligned and tuned up in your frequencies in the Blu-ray and also DNA, where you can be your responsible, clear, whole, divinely magical, mystical self. See what we got. Authenticity. We'll be able to see the authenticity in each other and ourselves. And all of us have had masks. All of us didn't know we had masks. All of us. And that authenticity, it feels like that we will be able to be free to be ourselves without some of the usual suspects of that we have lived through and had to survive through. And some of that is persecution, judgment is one of the main ones, manipulation. It's almost like rejection, persecution. And you'll look back and you'll go, oh my God, some of the people and some of the circumstances that I was just like, no way, mm -mm, actually are your soul tribe, soul family. And if you've judged them, that's being undone and unstitched out of the fabric of who you are so that those masks fall away. And that authenticity is, is so much more visual, knowable, feelable. And that Blu-ray energy, you've got a little bit of Mother Mary, there's golden 
energy that I'm seeing also. And Mary Magdalene, who also went through it. Remember, they called her all kinds of names and left her out of the story most of the time. She was a girl. But that divine masculine piece of her, the magician of who she is, and remembrance of Christ in her, and connection in God, that holy trinity in herself, is here to hold us while we cleanse out our templates and our layers, our conditions of who we are all through every system of, of mind, body, spirit, soul. So we can look ourselves and our soulmates, soul families, soul tribes in the mirror, in the face and see the genuine truth of who they are as well. And those judgments and foolish things that we've done and said and those separation spells and curses and blockages and bindings within us are going to break free. You know, that's why I've said for for 35 or 40 years, like, no, I wouldn't do magic. That sounds bad choice. I wouldn't send it back a thousand times or whatever it is. And the reason is because it would, it mucks up the frequencies and sending it back is also engaging in tangling and participating in the Julio, Julio, dumpster, lower, tainted, fallen activity. So, we are seeing that the hand of God is balancing and I don't know, could be sending back energies or dark things or, you know, crimes or whatever that have happened to some of us back, but it's not us. And it feels like that many of you are very protected and your pristine, beautiful frequencies of higher love are being in the rainbow bridge. Also it builds, remember it builds the 144,000 pieces build the perfect balance of heaven rainbow bridge in all the frequencies and tones and colors and stuff that we can we can't even fathom it yet but that's our true template and image of god so i hope that makes sense and i'm gonna pull one more card from the what's her name deborah the rose i'm just all about it rebecca Campbell. cards to see if there's any Anything for any any advisement we can have for the 144,000 frequency learning, growing, aligning, recalibrating that we're doing into the original divine blueprint of who each of us are so that we are one. Hmm. Brothers of the Rose. To me, that depicts the Christed energy and the, the divine masculine that has not been divine for a really long time. And I mean in any of us, the men, the women, and sacred masculine honor, protection, and support. I really, really want to just extra focus on the protection and support. You have more protection than you ever have before. The darker, lower energies and activities of others are being pushed away. It may feel like you're being attacked. It may feel like you're having really hard times and, and we will experience losses and some things like that because we're in this physical form and the spirit or the ether has not caught up all the way. But you do have more protection. The hand of God is shuffling us and aligning us, shuffling us and aligning us and protecting us. And some of you, the earth angels, the star seeds, the awakened ones, the light workers, remember we were awakened in different ways and we held different frequencies to anchor in, to hold this light grid. And that will be expanding and you'll be safe to do so in, in different ways. And it feels like that divine masculine energy that Brothers of the Rose is that cosmic heart opening up in its divinity in the, the masculine way. And so congratulations, because that's been a really tough one to cleanse and clear these templates as well as see in each other any divinity in our masculine pieces. The was so distorted throughout history and was distorted out throughout our each one of our perspectives even so i feel like this is a beautiful time where you can trust that divine masculine in yourself and in each other and it, to me it feels like a lot of the twin flames are going to be calling texting feeling each other i'm going to pull one more i really like that i feel like pure purified love between many people right now and that means soulmates soul tribes soul families divine masculines and feminines that have been separated for a long time and i mean in the physical form where you would see 
feel, get to sit by, talk to your divine counterpart. We've gone through like the biggest part of the cleansing and clearing of some of the, the heaviest stuff that kept us blocked and the dead zones that kept us from seeing each other in reality of who we really are. So I'm really excited for that. And the other card I chose for us is Mystic Rose, Compassion, Devotion, Humility, Humanity, Grace. Oh my gosh, this couldn't even be better. So in the, all of the downloads, and I know uh, most of us are getting receiving this, look at these rays. Look at these frequencies that make the halo and make the, it's not necessarily the Merkaba, but the Merkaba, your own light ship, and the sacred heart of Christ. And all of us that came here as the mystics and the psychics and the healers in advance over all the years, be nice to them because they cleansed and cleared and held the most for us and navigated through in the, you know, wave one, two, three waves of volunteers. And we will be able to see this in our everyday life, in our physical world, as well as our frequencies. Each one of them holds that mystic connection with God, your true spiritual connection with God, source, creator. And it's really births in our consciousness, just our truth, our reality, that compassion and love for one another and that wholeness. So... Congratulations, this is doing a great, y'all are doing a great job. I'm going to pull one more. The sacred geometry cards. What do we got? Passion. I was feeling this earlier and I, I woke up from a dream and I don't dream very often. That was part of one of the templates that was really traumatized and wounded in me. My connection to remember my dreams. It was really projected upon and smashed and traumatized by dark energies and all the targeting. So I don't really remember my dreams or have that connection very often. But I was feeling this fire or seeing this fire just, and it's not scary fire. It's not yucky fire. It's like the fire of God cleansing and clearing and, and that earth, air, fire, water, and ether coming into their divine, balanced, non-tainted form as well. So all the elements working together and all the elements of earth, air, fire, water, and ether make humanity. And so that showed me that the fire was passion, purpose, truth in the original divine blueprint frequency of where it's supposed to be has been aligned and realigned and recalibrated. And all of humanity will or sort of, sort of start feeling the capacity to touch their dreams and passions within themselves and share that with others upcoming. So Twin Flames, Earth Angels, Lightworkers, Loved Ones, wonderful, kind, good, salt of the earth people, thank you for being you. And thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. We're going to have some fun in the next days and do some readings and energy up updates and channelings as well. So if anyone wants a private reading or past life regression or work on the spiritual engineering of you, activating your codes and alignments, the descriptions and webpage links are in the box below. I thank you so much. I love you guys and I really appreciate you. I'm grateful. So have a great week.